Welcome back, gentlemen. Today, I'm going to show you what my morning routine is like. Right now, it's 12.10. I basically want to be in the house at 2 p.m. getting ready for work. It takes me a while, but I got to be out the house at 3. So let's try to get this done. Join me. Let's start the day. the slow line moving everybody that's thinking slow still processing stuff right before this jog you realize most of society works this way there's a few people that get the opportunity to go fast they're not working harder just smarter they're on the right track it's these little metaphors that i create that keep my life being inspired i stay creative that's the whole point of going on a jog in the first place to get the blood flowing thinking get you active i'm gonna stretch a bit I'm going to catch up on the podcast I got to listen to. You know, right now, Trump is going incredibly viral. So let's watch Patrick the David interview Trump. Nice little jog. Catch up on what I've missed out. God damn. Go stretch. I'm gonna be honest. Patrick by David just knows how to start an intro to a podcast any moment in time. And he brings up a good point about the undecided voter, the men that want to see Trump in office but don't believe in our election system. I even have doubts on my election system, but it's always important to stay involved in geopolitics just to see how they twist the lies. And for you to start turning on your brain, the critical thinking part of what are the truths that are actually out there? How can I discover and put these things together? How will they affect my life in the future? Remember, when you think about the next five years in your life, these are the things you need to be focused on. Who's in office? Who's a leader? Because whether you like it or not, you may not have a huge impact over it, but you definitely have a choice to make. It's important to recognize your choices because these are the freedoms we've had. And that's what protects our First Amendment. You gotta flex it. So it makes America one of the strongest countries in our nation. That's why you should be proud. And that's why I happily say, America first. Let's get to this job. Halfway there, let's go. Malcolm X promenade. Whew. Usually I'll go on that deck. But we've got a high tide right now, so I'm not gonna be able to make it there. Look, sorry to go sweat up. I think we're gonna go to the full 30. I already made it the 15 minute mark, so I'm only gonna get back if I do the full 30. Why quit now? Oh man. People already arguing over <laughs> charging their EVs. That's crazy. I was thinking about getting a Tesla. I'm on my jog and look, it's packed. People are fighting. Only four charges. Wow. Stick to gas. For now, stick to gas. Man, if you're in New York City, just pay for the gas. We're going to be arguing like that for 30 minutes over a charging station. Stupid. All right. Made it to the end. 133. I'm going to be honest. I didn't jog the whole way, but I take a few walks. I was a little tired today. I haven't done 30 minute jogging a bit. We're going to get better. That's what I learned today. We're going to get better. Phase one, you idolize them. Phase two, you demonize them. Phase three, you humanize them. That's what it means to be a good father. That's what it means to be a good leader. What you realize with all the people that influence in your life, especially young boys becoming men, masculinity. You idolize the people you watch, you compare yourself to them, you demonize them, you start to criticize them, you start to hold harsh judgment against them when you realize that copying them isn't the way. You held them at a high expectation, higher than you expected yourself to live up to. And then you humanize them. You realize you have a little more empathy, you have some more compassion for their situation, and they made the most out of the opportunities and choices they've had. So it means to humanize someone, and you realize that you are human. You are capable of going through those decisions yourself. It's never gonna be the same, so you shouldn't idolize anybody. The only person you should idolize is God. Be like God, because he is perfect in every way, shape, or form. And he gave his life for you. He sacrificed his life so that you could humanize others. That's what it means to be human. That's what it means to share the spirit. And that's why you believe in God, and that's why we lead other men to become better men. That's what masculinity is all about. Now let's get this work Put in the work. You, you want to quit? Go way past the bell. Way past the bell. Listen to it at least three times. Oh. Set yourself a limit and go beyond that limit. That's how you could grow. That's what improvement is. 
doing the things you didn't think were possible. Check this out. I'm trying to get to work. I'm already I'm blocked off because of Trump. <laughs> Crazy. Crazy. It's funny. I was listening to an interview today. Really powerful interview. At first, I thought there's going to be a lot of conversation around blaming others. This is what politicians do. Kind of annoys the crap out of me. So Patrick but David molded it into something different. It's more transformative in a sense of humanizing a political candidate, trying to stay away from just the constant butchery of the other opponent on the other side, and more, how are we actually going to get things done? That's what I really wanted to listen to. That's what I really wanted to hear. And you can actually see Trump sit here and say, I plan on trying my best to stop Ukraine and Russia by actually going and talking to these people. And what did he do? Talk to President Zelensky, right, of Ukraine. So he actually knows what these people want by addressing it and talking to them personally. And then he figures out, how can we cut a deal? It's the kind of activity we need in a president, in a leader. And that's truly what I think is going to benefit America the most.